they rattle tattle. Hey, what's a rapper, rapper? I started off that now a better. I get capital, capital. I help my people to get It's week 17 of the 2023 season, and we'll see the Colts' leader at quarterback. He's been sensational as he leads the league in touchdown passes. It's the Colts and the Giants, and it's coming up next. We welcome everybody to the Garden State. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Indianapolis Colts and the New York Giants. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And Charles, you take a look at this Giants ball club. They come in playing pretty good football. Winners are four of their last six games. Meanwhile, for the visiting Colts, they have certainly got it rolling of late. Winners of six in a row. And it's simple. The more you win in the regular season, the more likely you play at home in the postseason. And that can take you deep into January. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. And leading him out is their fifth-year quarterback. And he just continues to throw touchdown pass after touchdown pass, leading the league here down the final stretch of the year. Guys will say that the numbers and the rankings, they don't matter to him very much. But I don't know how much I actually believe that. Sure, he's team first, but I think everyone would like to see him finish number one, including himself. Who would a juke. And some room to work. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 36 yards on the play. Opening quarter, his opening carry of the game, and I think they'll give it to him a few more times, as they should. You're exactly right about that. With that type of a run, you want to repeat it many times until they show signs of stopping it. I think he did his visualization exercise before this one, and they're paying off. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. These are his numbers from last week's contest. Charles, how do you think he ran the football? I thought he definitely had his moments. I did think that they could have utilized him a little bit better, and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him to see how they're going to use him this week. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. To the right side, this is Taylor. And he'll go down at the 28. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. The Colts at 10 and 5 to start play. And they have certainly got it rolling as of late. Winners of six in a row. And I think this is where, as a head coach, you show your team some trust. Instead of just talking about winning, you know, the very next game, you point out to them, we're on a nice run here. And if we keep doing this, we'll be playing at home in the postseason. And we know that that could ride us all the way to the Super Bowl if we get that done. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he's tackled a yard short of the left. Good game of nine on first down. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. Yeah, he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third of the yard. They'll look to throw. Got a man. It's Pittman, and he holds it in for the Colts touchdown. A great effort there. With touchdown number eight on the year. And the Colts are on the board first here this afternoon. Looking sharp on that first drive. These guys, of course, coming off back-to-back -back victories. And 
you see that kind of advancing into this game, don't you? You certainly do. And when you have a team that doesn't get too full of itself, even though they've won two games in a row, you get the end result that we saw there. That nice opening drive because they're sharp, they're focused. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He had the short touchdown pass on their previous drive, and they'll begin again here on first and ten. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. That is caught. Michael Pittman with it. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. Holding offense. usually see those guys out wide get called for holding on running plays here at passing play. Yeah, sometimes we get this quick screen, bubble screen, anything where they're having to block for their fellow receiver, usually at the point of attack, and this time he got caught. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And some room to maneuver. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor hitting double digits with his 10th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Colts are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Indianapolis set to take the field. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A big play that time on the catch and run. 30 yards. The offense has to love that because that was just a dump down, and then he turned something out of seemingly nothing. And the best quarterbacks understand that dumping it down is often a good play, a better play than even what was drawn up. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and ten. A gift for Taylor running right side. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. The previous run good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He'll find a man over the middle. It's Pittman. Touchdown, Indianapolis! Michael Pittman, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Colts take a three-touchdown lead. Boy, still in the first quarter, and look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game.
He hit on the big one on that last drive. Touchdown pass number 50 on the season. What a year he's put together. And he'll try to build on it here, first and 10. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 163 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. Well, he's broken off some big-time runs here in this first half. Ben, let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you've got the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises, and he's running with terrific ability right now. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Again, it's Taylor. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he's going to be out of bounds all the way down inside the 15. A big play there for Andy. 43 yards on the ground. One of the reasons that this team is on this win streak, big runs like that. When you see runs like that broken off, you know this is a team that's confident running the football. A big reason why this streak has occurred, they've come together, had a plan, and stuck to it. And when you get big-time runs like that, it makes it easier to stay with it, doesn't it? So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Up the middle, here's Taylor. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Now a give to Taylor. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Jonathan Taylor with his 13th touchdown of the year and second of the game. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, it, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. Here he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. He hasn't had his best day. They have been good running the football, and they have the lead, though, so maybe he just personally wants to improve his play. And that's without a doubt, because at the end of the game, he wants to feel like he had a really good hand in his team winning if, in fact, they do go on and get that done. But the bottom line is finding a way to win the game. So if you're not playing that well, but somebody else is on the team, keep going to that hot hand. Yeah, not over yet, but looking good here in the second quarter. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have your guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. It sounds true, doesn't it? But this kid is completely apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They run once more with Taylor. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. My, oh, 
my 250 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. First and 10, Taylor now. He's got it to the 43 here. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. From the gun, it's Taylor. And he's going to get this pretty close to the first down marker at the Giants' 36. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Always unfortunate to see an injury, especially this close to the end of the regular season. We'll step aside. Five in the secondary now for the Giants here on third. They're going to look to throw. Open man is Taylor. He's got it. He's going to have the first down and more than that. Touchdown Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And the Colts are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it worked well. Back leading this offense back out. He had the touchdown pass on the last drive, his third already in this first half, as he'll try again with a first down. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. A gain of five brings up second and five. They'll drop to throw. Got an open man. It's QT. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. run got a couple here second and eight they'll look to throw here they'll set up the screen to taylor and he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds nine yards to pick up there and it's a first down but they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half they must have seen something in the scouting that said hey we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Now a handoff, Taylor with it. And he's gonna be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. And we've hit the two minute mark in this first half of action.
Second down, another run with Taylor. He'll be stopped shy of the 45 despite a great move. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Out of the gun now on third down. Oh, he's got his tight end, Mo Alley Cox, complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 45-yard line. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. One yard gain brings up second and nine at the Giants' 45 yard line. They'll throw now on the final play. And he's going to have the hook up to QT. They'll head out of bounds inside the 10, mark him down at the nine. So we've come upon halftime here in week 17 as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome into our EA Sports Halftime Report. It's a busy week 17 of the regular season, so let's get right to it. We'll get started out in Texas, NRG Stadium in Houston, and that one just before halftime with the Jaguars out on top. A touchdown on the ground there for James Robinson. From there, we head over to Hotlanta to check out the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And this one going the visitor's way as the Cardinals have the lead in that one. Kyler Murray has thrown a touchdown pass. Finally, let's get to the country music capital of the world. See what's happening with the Titans at home in Nashville. And they were losers in their ball game to the visiting Dallas Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, a touchdown run in the victory. On now to a look at the next-gen stats for the Colts in that first half. And this has been an absolute clinic in how to run the football. Over 200 yards on the ground, just in the first two quarters alone. Meanwhile, for the Giants, there's a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And they'll need to get things in gear as they trail here at the break. We're probably not the first, but all of us at EA Sports certainly want to wish you and yours a happy and prosperous new year. And as a celebration of that, a big slate of NFL games on this Sunday, week 17, second to last weekend of the NFL docket. Later tonight, the battle for Los Angeles, Rams and Chargers, 515 Pacific at SoFi. And then on Monday night, Charles and I are on to Cincinnati, Bills and Bengals, two cold weather teams in what will be a frigid Paul Brown Stadium. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And they've used him in the passing game to great effect so far. And here they get it to him again on the screen, and it turns into a nice positive play. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. Back to throw here. They'll find his man. That's Taylor again. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it. And no adjustment has been made to take it away. to throw again got a man it's complete to Jelani Woods 
And he's going to be pushed out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 46 yards. And as you saw right there, this is a guy with pretty good speed for a tight end. Nice job there catching the short throw and turning it upfield. He can also be a weapon downfield as well. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. The pass, the pass to Jonathan Taylor. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. They'll look to throw again. The quick slant caught. Touchdown, Colts. Mo Alley Cox, a five-yard touchdown. And the Colts have taken a five-touchdown lead. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack the defense and take them out of the game. comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. Really solid effort for him right now. Third quarter, already four touchdown passes. How many can he get here? That remains to be seen, but I know one thing. You and I will be here to watch, and I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> With what he's doing in this contest, I'm not, I'm not missing a minute of it. This guy's been spectacular. Yeah, I mean, it's a team game, but sometimes these individual performances are fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes they just kind of come to the front, despite the fact that you said we know it's all about the team. But the way he's playing, he's trying to make his team win on his back. Yeah, it's been exciting. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. This is Taylor. Gets past one man. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It'll be a gain of 17 in an Indianapolis first down. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Taylor. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Taylor. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play, backwards a yard. Well, Brandon, he's had a great day, but sometimes the other guys make a play against you. What's that expression they like to use in the NFL? Those guys get paid, too, you know. Yeah, in college they say, hey, they're on scholarship, too, in the NFL. They're getting paid, too. With the day he's had, you can have one go in the wrong direction. And he'll get this only to about the 38 as they stop him a few yards shy of the line to gain. That pattern and scheme was well defensed on third down. He tried to just sprint from one side of the field to the other, and they got it to him quickly. But no chance at yards after the catch there, and they stop him short. They'll 
run with Taylor. Nifty move. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. From the seven, it's second and five. Now Taylor. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. I know my grade school teachers never would believe this, but I can absorb a lesson. I think there's a lesson in this one. He's having a great day running the football, but occasionally they're going to find a way to stop you, aren't they? Yeah, this time the defense stepped up and what's been so far a tough game for them. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And this one has gone pretty well to form. They've come in, had little problem thus far, and now they'll try to polish things off in the fourth. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Taylor. He takes this for three to the 29. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, They've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. On second down, it's Taylor. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for first. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Open man is QT complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 40. He'll look to throw. He'll find Paris Campbell. That's complete. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Now we've got a Giant player here slow to get up after that last play. And not what you want to see this late in the season. Medical staff is going to check on him, and we'll step aside for a moment. To the right side, this is Taylor. And he'll go down at the 28. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. It's a game of three. And the first down. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Brought down in the play by Kayvon Thibodeau. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They run with Taylor. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. A five-yard pickup on the play. They'll set up a throw. 
Got an open man. That's Campbell. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Uh, hang on a second here, because on that last play, it appears one of the Giants shaken up. Always unfortunate to see an injury, especially this close to the end of the regular season. We'll step aside. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Looking to throw. Back to the same target, Campbell. Touchdown! Paris Campbell, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Colts extend this fourth quarter lead, and they are getting closer and closer to win number 11. And you wonder now if he might be able to remove the helmet, put on the baseball cap, and watch the rest of this one from the sideline, his fifth touchdown pass of the game. Say that again. Did you say fifth touchdown pass of the game? Yes, sir. But that's a heck of a performance, isn't it? Because they've had no answer for him at all, all game long. Receivers have been... This offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. The give to Taylor. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Again, it's Taylor. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third down, here's Taylor. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. Tell you what, partner, the way he's been slinging it in this one, I think he should be ticketed for a baseball cap and a set of headphones for the next drive. He's been absolutely sensational. But one thing we both learned about quarterbacks in this league, they often stay on the field longer than you expect. Going jet sweep, here's Campbell. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. And that gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. Well, they gave up a few yards there, but all in all, I think it's a pretty nice job defensively against the Jets sweep. If they don't slow him up, he might take it to the house. So they'll take that play every time on the defensive side of the ball. Taylor. We'll get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. Call it a gain of a couple. The defense stiffening here. It's third and goal. Delay of game. The offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Still third down. How crucial will those five yards be? We'll see as they come up again here, third and goal. Now back to throw. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. You and I have been around teams, and they all have goals for games, don't they? And every team we've ever talked to says what? No turnover. <laughs> don't turn the ball over. Zero. And they were that close to getting it done. Won't cost them today, but they'll hate that when they're watching the game tape.
And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And they hope to polish things off. And what a run they are on as they try to turn a six-game win streak into a seven. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. Up to the 20. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They run once more with Taylor. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score Is heading into the tunnel as this one ends and understandably so not only did they get the win but boy their offense was on fire in this ball game and partner i have no idea what the top speed is of all those high-end sports cars what's the top gear you can get into this offense they certainly were there in this one huh everything clicking for them in this contest the kind of performance that they're going to cherish so for Indianapolis, they improved to 11-5 now with one week remaining.